Good morning, guys. This is Dean Clark, the Dean Clark Group Podcast. So jumping right into the facts and figures of uh, the week. So the week ending, going into August, we've uh, had a couple new towns pop up as the front runners um, in terms of new listings, contracts accepted, and that was North Bergen. Uh, with a, a 24 new listings week over week and 13 contracts accepted. Union City getting 58 new listings and 10 contracts accepted out of those. And we are starting to see the sold properties trickle in. In this case, they had seven sold in the last, uh, they actually closed in the last week, which is a good sign. It means every single day there was a closing. Uh, we're starting to see them, uh, you know, properties across the board uh, do that. And Hoboken had 17 sold properties, downtown Jersey City, 11. The Heights had nine. So there's a number of good signs that we're seeing. And we've had one of our best months in the last month. And I think that was attributed to, you know, look, low interest rates right now. I mean, they've never been this low. And um, as much as I have said in the past, and my view on it is that it's a cherry on top of why you're buying, it's it's a real big driver because there's so much you can do with this low with this low of a uh, of a cost of borrowing at this point. So uh, that's a huge driver right now in the market, and a lot of people are already talking about the cities again. You know what's interesting is we're starting to see not everyone you know moving out. A, lot, a few clients of ours who actually said, you know what, the suburbs are just too much, and we're going to go back into the city, and they're gonna they're they're getting great deals on rentals and and buys and. So it's a very interesting, interesting time that we're going into uh, for August right now. I'm very excited for it actually because the number of uh, properties that are, you know, active and on the market and they're and mostly if if you're priced correctly, you should be getting offers and should be selling. There's no reason in this market right now that you're not doing something. So and if you're not, um, please give me a call because <laughs> something drastically is wrong and what's going on there. As long as you're you're within striking distance. You should be getting an offer or two on the property that you have, um, or look even even if if you're on the buy side and there's a lot of competition, you know there are certain ways to make your offer look very really attractive today. So being on the listing side um, most of the time in 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 what I do um, is I see a lot of buyers agents that whether it's a lack of you know just how they go about like with their skill set and just in general with how they go about uh, presenting the offers to, to, to the, the listing agents, you know, you could do things like sweeten up the pop for inspections and waive it and, and waive the appraisal, you know, go with the local lender, at least in this area here with condos being the prim- the primary uh, product that we sell. That is something that, you know, it, it, it goes a long way, you know, having a big bank when there's competition on a listing and you have to compete for that for that offer. I mean, listen, go get a local lender because they have a lot. They have such a, a strong uh, hold on getting those questionnaires and everything done so that we can get through closing. And that's what the a listing agents talk about. That's what I talk about. So, you know, that's just, you know, it's just some pointers. I wanted to switch the conversation over a little bit from just the, the normal numbers that we always talk about because I think it's pretty it's pretty clear at this point, if you, if you guys have been listening, that... You know, right now is the time to just do something. If you're not looking, even if you own, you're not looking to sell, refinance the property if you can, unless you already refinance and you know the cost of doing it is obviously doesn't weigh out, you know, in the short term. But you know, I think there's a lot of good opportunities right now. And uh, but you look, it still remains to be seen. Coming the fourth quarter, really the first quarter of next year at this point, all this pent up demand that we've seen, I e- well, either one of two things are going to happen, either. We're going to hit the election and all of a sudden things are just going to drop right off and we're like back to like when the COVID started or it's going to accelerate like a rocket again and we're just going to be back to where, you know, where we are. And I know a lot of people talk about, oh, well, you know, how much higher can they, can, can, they, can these properties go? Remember though, they also came down from COVID. That's why also you're having multiple bids on multiple situations and, and you just have more demand like in areas like the suburbs. So... I think there's a lot of good things happening right now. I also think that uh, deals traditionally, do you know, you know, they take about 45 to 60 days to close, but it does seem that buyers are on edge once they get into a deal because of just the you know overall uncertainty. And the best thing that you can do as a seller is look, just you know, as long as your agent is managing your expectations of what to expect, if this is your first time doing anything, um, you know, the best thing that you can do is 
just 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 be attentive and work with your agent and the truth is the way i look at it is it's a team effort when you go to sell a property at the end of the day i don't care it's not like oh the agent just takes it on and does whatever they want no never works that way never it's not it's it's not our property we don't control anything except for you know making recommendations that you can choose and what to do so with that i'll catch up with you guys next week looking forward to it enjoy stay safe and we'll talk from and we'll go from there